Don't you guys just miss the days of overpowered aim assist and absolutely lasering everybody that you see? Well, using the settings that we're about to show you, man, it's gonna completely change your perspective on a controller, right? And here are the perfect settings for beginners. So controller is the most common input in Fortnite. And really to be at your maximal potential, you gotta have the most optimal settings to dominate your opponents, right? What's going on guys, your motivation guy, Keith Allen. I'm gonna show you guys the best controller settings and sensitivity that you can use to stay on top of your game for building and aiming and editing. And by the end of the video, you're gonna know everything that you need to know to find the perfect settings in any play style. You guys ready for this? Speaking of which, all right, our question of the day is this. What input did you start playing Fortnite on? Controller or keyboard and mouse? Let us know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get this going. With this holidays upon us, we thought it'd be nice to whip up something special for you guys. For the entire week, we're gonna be allowing you guys to gift your friends subscriptions and pro guides coaching sessions. Also, check out our brand new Clicks course where he teaches you all the ins and outs of going pro. Grab this opportunity while it lasts. Click the top right or down below to get started. Just like every season, the pump shotgun meta is changing back and forth and back and forth. And so this season, tactical shotguns are the most common shotgun, my friends. And you know, it's the main gun every player uses in a close range fight, right? Like obviously you come across a few charged shotguns, but there are nowhere as common as attack. They're everywhere. And this season, you wanna have a sensitivity that gives you the best accuracy and really gives you a balance between your building and editing so you can just push a fight and just really play to your best ability. So the most optimal sensitivity would be a low to medium look and ADS sensitivity and a medium to high edit and build sensitivity, all right? Editing and building quicker than your opponent is crucial in every fight. That's how you win games in Fortnite, as it allows you to get close to them and really just have the best piece control. And after that, having a lower to medium look sensitivity is the best for being accurate with your shots and really helps you finish your fight with ease. So to be more specific, you gotta find your favorite controller player and just really copy their settings. And this way, you're gonna have some you know, of the most optimal settings to play in season five, and you can just adjust them to your preference. Along with this, best settings would definitely be something right in the middle, but not exact as we have to get a feel for our settings and just see which ones help us play the best. So to get a better understanding of this, guys, check out our favorite settings combined from pros and configured for success. These settings are tailored for players who use the linear mode, which is 70% of controller pros and, and players really use in general. Linear is very good for close range tracking and accuracy, but it's just harder to track players when they're further away. Most players agree that mechanics and shotgun aim is just way better on the linear input curve, and this is really the key to success in competitive modes. Mechanics like ADSing and shotgun aim are way easier to control in linear, and they're just very important this season. However, I will say this, many also argue that exponential was just as good, especially with some of the best controller pros like Reed and Unknown using it as their input curve. Exponential is just way harder to control and especially in a solo game mode where you have to rely on hitting your shots and never messing up a build or edit. So for now, make sure to stay on linear and just practice with your new sensitivity until you feel like you're ready, all right? All right, now back on the subject, you might be wondering, all right, what each setting is used for, and we have the answer, my friends. All right, first up, controller auto run and build immediately are two settings you need to have on. They allow you to always sprint when fighting and really help you place your builds instantly. Edit hold time should always be on the lowest so you guys can edit and build, you know, in perfect, you know, synergy, all right? Keep vibration off as it may be hectic in an end game or intense fights. Your edit and build mode multipliers make your sensitivity faster by what amount you set it to and should always be around 2.0 as really it allows you to change your speed with ease. All right, guys, up next, you guys need to turn on advanced settings like right now, all right? These help you narrow your sensitivity down to the exact percentage. All right, change your look vertical and horizontal speed to around 40 to 50%, and really just keep every other setting off in the look sensitivity section, as it really kind of tampers with your accuracy. Look sensitivity is how fast you can move your character around and really is the most important setting for having accurate aim. All right, ADS settings. Um, 
which means aim down sights, helps with the AR, SMG, and scoped weapon aim. Keep the look horizontal and vertical speed at around six to 15% as lower ADS sensitivity rewards huge damage. Never use any boost guys as they add acceleration when aiming and tremendously impacts how you aim. Okay, so right after there is look dampening time. We should also remain at zero. Keep your look input curve on linear since every single setting corresponds perfectly with linear mode, all right? There are also advanced settings that affect your gameplay such as dead zone, super important, and aim assist strength. Okay, so aim assist strength is obvious, like you already get that. Always keep your aim assist strength on 100%. Anything under and you're gonna have a huge disadvantage. Dead zone is a mechanic that allows a small area around the thumbstick to not be detected. This allows you to have less stick drift and keeps your aim aligned with your joysticks. There is also one last option, which is a foot controller. If you don't use a foot controller, which 99% of Fortnite players really don't, then just keep every setting disabled in the foot controller section. All right, guys, your controller binds are an important factor on how quickly and efficiently you can play. Every single controller professional has switched over to Builder Pro years ago, and if you haven't, we recommend that you do this like now. Builder Pro allows you to place every build with the tap of one bind and gives you the most control over your gameplay. Choosing binds is extremely simple on a controller, and even the default settings are optimal for competitive gameplay. So many pros play on default settings with little to no changes, but have modded controllers that give them full control while playing. And if you can, spending money on pro controllers such as the Scuff Impact or Xbox Elite is definitely worth your wallet. These controllers come with almost full customizations and come with four paddles on the back of the controller. Paddles are definitely like the most useful mod on a controller as they give you four extra buttons that you can press and really allows all your fingers to be used at the same time. So for better understanding of controller paddles, link is in the description. Watch pro player Calazzo showing his scuff impacts paddles and really, you know, its uses. Just remember my friends, anybody can be the best on a normal Xbox or PS4 controller. So don't be discouraged if you can't get a modded one. All right, if you need help figuring out your controller binds, use your resources and find binds that fit you from other professional players. So a good website to find pro player binds is Pro Settings or looking on YouTube. And so after you're done copying down those binds and other settings, you need to practice and really just learn from the best. So a great way of learning and improving on controller is by watching our previous controller videos. Just remember my friends, like everybody starts at a low point, all right? Be motivated, all right? We all gotta start from somewhere and the player with the best mentality always succeeds. And that's why I'm your motivation guy to help you with your mentality so you can be great not only in this game, but also in life, man. And if you're struggling with, be, you know, with, with the lack of motivation, be motivated right now, man. Be motivated to keep grinding, to keep going, to never quit. And if you're having trouble you know, adjusting at first, use this as motivation and practice consistently, all right? Adjusting your settings to the best is always the first step you should take before playing competitively every season. So adapting to new seasons may be hard, I get it, especially when the meta has changed tremendously each season. Professional players like Reed and Unknown and even Face Sway, you know, are looked up to because of how perfect every move is and how efficiently they play. Many stereotypes say that controller players don't have amazing mechanics and only win because of aim. Ironically, Reed is called the king of peace control while playing on a controller, so please shut that down. He knows exactly what to do and his binds never hold him back. So mechanics combined with accurate aim is lethal and not many controller players can perfectly do both, right? Peace control is a very important mechanic you need to learn along with aim assist that you can really, really just win every fight. You gotta train hard and remember to utilize pro guys, man. Go above and beyond. So playing on the best binds possible will get you very close and practicing with consistency and determination will get you there in no time. You already know, man. You guys already know you're called to be great. You're called to be great, man. You, and you're gonna be great. There's greatness on the inside of you. So let it out, let it out. All right, so to recap this video, remember guys to copy down these settings and really just practice with them. Never get demotivated guys, because as soon as you get used to these settings, you're gonna be a whole new player anyways. And you know, dominating your fights, really without a doubt, 
Okay, so our settings, tips, and tricks are gonna leave your opponents in the dust and have them screaming out, controller player. So, man, be excited because it's gonna take you to a whole new level. Speaking of which, all right, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. And if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys like the video and sub to the channel so you guys can stay a part of what we're doing, man. Bunch of crunch army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. And I'll see you soon.